top British wedding planner, Jane Deus Hinch, has been responsible for some of the most extravagant and expensive weddings around. No, 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 no. But Rena and Pedram's wedding is going to be Jane's ultimate challenge. 500 guests, three wedding ceremonies and a reception, all in one day. Will Jane be able to pull it off with just seven days to go? Or will she finally be forced to admit defeat? Do you know, I can't even do this now. I can't. Rina and Pedram are a modern-day Romeo and Juliet. Pedram and I met in high school. But her parents really didn't approve at all. We were dealing with different cultures. We weren't even allowed to see each other or go out or anything. In the beginning, it was hard. But after six long years, Rina's parents finally gave in. So I gave them the permission. But Rina and Pedram aren't getting off easy. Just to please their families, they're going to have to have a Hindu ceremony, a Muslim ceremony, and a Baha'i ceremony, all in one day. It's not easy to plan for a wedding. How would Rena know? It seems all she cares about is what jewelry she's going to wear. And at night I'll be wearing a tiara so I can be a princess <laughs> at my wedding. And Pedram's attitude isn't any better. My job is basically to get there and try to look as good as I can. So we've got 500 guests, three ceremonies, controlling parents, a pampered bride and groom, and one week to go. The only person who has any hope of cleaning up this mess is Jane Deus Hinch. Where is everyone? Jane's a wedding planner and a fairy godmother who has flown in last minute to grant Rena and Pedram three wishes to save their doomed wedding. I am so tired. I don't know I'm standing up, actually. When Rena and Pedram finally show up at the wedding venue, Jane cuts to the chase. So let's go explore. So this is the foyer. We're serving breakfast. Oh, we're starting off with the Hindu ceremony, which starts at, I guess, 8.30 in the morning. Pedram's going to be coming down the street on a horse. <laughs> Pedram's afraid that he's going to fall off the horse because I told him about one wedding where that actually happened. I've been at Indian weddings, and when they start to beat that drum, I've seen grooms go flying. Have you ridden a horse before? No. Okay. I've seen movies. Oh, please. And what's your entrance? My brother's actually carrying me in. But what good is a grand entrance if there aren't any guests there to see it? That's the common thing that both cultures do. They're always late. It if you say come at seven o'clock, that actually means nine, and everyone knows it means nine. The wedding day, I want everything to be right on time. So what is Rena's solution? I actually made um, a whole bunch of cue cards for all the tasks that I expect help with. <laughs> Rena is giving me cue cards. I'm the wedding planner. Who's she? Are all these people wearing name badges? So they that I know, because I've got to go and find Dolly yep. <laughs> and Ramesh and Raji. Where am I going to find these people? I will make name badges for you. No. Doesn't sound like Jane's too thrilled with the idea, or any of Rena's ideas for that matter. I'm very concerned. And if I'm concerned, you should definitely be concerned. I'm a little more nervous now. Nervous? I scared the pants off Pedro. But the scariest question is still to come. And it's costing how much? On everything so far? Probably about 160,000. They don't care about budget. Mummy and daddy are paying for it. It just keeps adding up. And I have only one daughter. I'll worry about the budget later. They would spend millions and millions of dollars, even if they didn't have it, they would just spend it because I'm their only daughter. That's everything. So, is there anything else that you want any help with? Well, my first wish for the wedding was to have fireworks at the end of the night. I've never had a couple giving me their first wish at their first meeting. Um, and it was so unexpected. I've loved fireworks since I was a little girl, and I just thought, you know, on my wedding day, it'd be great to have fireworks. Fireworks? Out of everything that you've got to do, 
You want fireworks? I really don't know where to start. I can't even tell you how big this is. We've got not 120, an average wedding. We've got 500 people. Just think of 500 people standing here. So put all this in a, you know, in a pot. Add a bit of stress. Add a bit of emotion. Can you say what I'm feeling here? And no, I haven't got six months to sort this. As of tomorrow, six days. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the straw that broke the camel's back. Gosh, do you know, I can't even do this now. I can't. Coming up, has Jane thrown in the towel for good? What am I doing here? Or will she have a change of heart? British wedding planner Jane Dayas Hinch has come face to face with her biggest challenge yet. This wedding is in such a shambles. That's because there's $160,000 at stake, three ceremonies to coordinate, 500 guests to feed, and a couple who just doesn't seem to get it. I'll be wearing a tiara so I can be a princess. <laughs> I disagree with the deadline to begin with, so I'm not actually aiming for the deadline. Bedroom thinks that uh, everything can be solved and someone else will solve it. And that's the attitude that made Jane walk out of their first meeting. Gosh. But Jane's no quitter. She's determined to make Rena and Pedram grow up and fast. They won't be smiling when I get through with them. Here is the plan. And these are all the things where I think we need to address. Parking, the drummer. What time have you told him? Whatever you've told him, tell him 30 minutes earlier. Security guy on the door. Walkie talkies. Cake. For the cake to be served, we're looking four to five hundred plates. Because there is nothing worse than the cake coming out in a piece of napkin. List of photographs and times and photographer. I would call this wedding a logistical nightmare. <laughs> I noticed that it said that you are having photographs taken at 6 a.m. on the one sheet. And on the other sheet, it said, photographer to arrive, 7.30 a.m. People think that they've got everything done, but because they've never done this before, how do they know? So this is why you need a wedding planner to look at it and go into the detail. The list of names and garlands. We don't have place cards. Or are we not having place cards? We are having place cards. W which, which day are we doing 500? Oh, 250 each. There might be the smiles, but underneath, I think there might be... Oh, goodness, I've now got to go and do it. Table for gifts, the money box, the master of ceremonies for the whole day. I can hear so many things that are going to go wrong. There's a definite theme running through this whole thing that I keep picking up on, and it's got when, 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 and when. That's what it comes all the way back down to. Just seeing that plan, there's many things to do, and very little time to do it in. Oh, look, four days to do all this, OK? Bringing it all the way back to wish number one, fireworks. I have found a supplier that will do it, but we are talking $1,000. I think we discussed it after the wish was made. And I think no more than $500 did we want to spend at all. Your first wish has been wasted. And so are Jane's efforts. Rena ignores the million things on the to-do list and goes back to her happy place. This diamond set is actually for my grandfather. This one was given to my mother by my grandmother. These are what I wear during the Hindu ceremony. I actually wear these around my wrist, like that. I think we're so far up to three outfits now. This is actually the Indian dress that I'll be wearing. They're all expensive outfits. I wanted to go for something simple, something light, because the Indian dress is really, really heavy. But could it be Rena's afraid her second gown is too simple, and that's why she gets a third? These kids, they've been pampered too long. And if Rena runs out of gowns, she can always play dress up with her Pedram doll. <laughs> it's salmon. Pink is pink. You're going to wear that underneath. So, underneath the pink thing. OK. Look how handsome you look. You look like Aladdin in this thing. 
That's pin pin, isn't it? Thing's a little tight. We fitted it on you. Are they comfortable? Not at all. <laughs> this is the problem. Wearing this, getting on a horse. Then yeah, but it's open here. It's you have flexibility. Open here. Then we have the big MC Hammer pajama pants. So I got the pants on, but you said they'd be more comfortable with the pants. It's because you haven't put on the shirt though. Pedro may not like his outfit, but just wait until he sees what Jane has in store for him. Coming up. This then bites. Right. And that end kicks. Jane gotcha. tries to rein in Pendrum. <laughs> Rena and Pedrum's wedding is three days away, and their plans are in pieces. I can hear so many things that are going to go wrong. But the bride doesn't seem the least bit concerned. <laughs> in fact, she seems more worried about the clothes than the ceremony. The best part? The shoes. It's the hat. And the clueless groom has yet to lift a finger. My job is basically to get there and try to look as good as I can. Luckily, Jane Deus Hinch, a British wedding planner, has agreed to grant Rena and Pedram three wishes to help save their wedding from certain disaster. But the couple's first wish for fireworks fizzled. Your first wish has been wasted. So now, Jane's calling the shots. Wish two, I took over because I knew that this was something they wouldn't do. That's because Jane doesn't trust Rena and Pendrum to make their own decisions. So, she arranges for a riding instructor to prepare Pedram for his grand entrance. I guess it's better to fall off now than to fall off the day of. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. No, I said this way. <laughs> walk that way. There we go, super. Climb up on the mountain walk. Super. So now we're going to take this foot and we're going to put it in this stirrup and land gently in the saddle. That's going to be a lot harder with the outfit. <laughs> Good. Super. Just sit up. Just sit up and turn towards me. Go. Go. Super. 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 Now, Padram, look it. Your entire body went wah! Right. When you pull with two, he slows down. Right. When you pull with one, he turns. Super. Shorten your reins just a bit. This mountain will be fun. And animals. They sense fear. Whoa. Whoa. Super! Jump. Woo! Super. He's actually got quite a good seat if you look. Good. <laughs> It'll be a little different with the outfit, but I think we did a few, a few runs and a few emergency stops and everything, so I'm a lot more confident. <laughs> By the time the next day rolls around, the fun stops, the stress kicks in, and Rena takes the reins. Pedram? I do have to hound him a little bit just to get him to do the things that I need him to do. I'm here. I hope you're working on wedding things. I am. Rena is sometimes a pain in the butt. What are you working on right now? When are you going to have all of these folded by? So you're done the table groupings then? Just have to go over these suggestions still. So when I bring the map, we can put it together then? Rena's stressing enough for all of us, and I need to keep myself sane and calm. So what about the centerpieces? Are they ready? Would it be possible to go look at them now? Yep. Let's go check it out now, because sure. i got a million other things to do still. Great. Not only does Pedram's grandmother have to make 50 centerpieces, she has to deal with Rena's high standards. All that, eggs. What are the eggs for? Eggs symbolize fertility. Yeah, Rena, Rena freaks out about the little things. So these are fresh baby's breath? Yeah, it's fresh. Will they last? No, it'll last. We have ones where my mom had them for a year. Do you think year. we should put these in the fridge, though, or something to keep them fresh? No, I think they're fine. I just don't want them to get... No, they should be fine. Will tea. By the time the day is done, the real reason for Rena's stress comes out. It's not the wedding plans, it's the terrifying thought of moving five minutes away from her parents. Many times at night she'll come and sleep with me and I'll say, Rena, go because you have to sleep and you have to go to work in the morning and then you won't have enough sleep. She says, Mommy, I have only so many days left to sleep with you here. She's like my little baby. I'm very attached to my parents, and I'm especially attached to my father, so it'll be extremely difficult to say goodbye on that day. Even though, I mean, we're still going to be living close to each other. It is a big event emotionally. I like you too. Don't cry. To marry Pedram, Rena's got to leave her parents. I don't know if she can do that. 
Dina has been home for 23 years. Give me a minute. We are there to help you. We'll always find time together now and then. <laughs> I don't know if Rena can do this. Hopefully, cuddling with mom and dad will make it all better. This is not the time to get cold feet, Rena. $160,000 down the drain. Seven days ago, Rena and Pedram's wedding was a full-blown disaster. I would call this wedding a logistical nightmare. Then, wedding planner slash fairy godmother Jane Deus Hinch arrived to grant three wishes and save the day. When, 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 and when. However, Rena and Pedram's first wish for fireworks blew up in their faces. Out of everything you need to do, you want fireworks? Then, for their second wish, Jane prepared Pedram for his grand entrance. So we won't mention that horses can slip on tarmac then. But it's wedding day, and Rena and Pedram still haven't cashed in their third wish. But that's the least of Jane's worries. My first problem, Pedram, the bridegroom, he's not here yet. Can you ring him, please? I have this one. I have this one. His phone. We've got the horse, we've got the drummer, we've got 500 people arriving, we've got the weather. And I keep looking at my watch because this is to the minute. This wedding has to go to the minute. Just when Jane's about to give up hope, Pedram arrives. We're a little late, but this one should be all right. Okay. No, it's fine. Grandfather? Grandfather? No, no. I need my grandfather. Father. Fine. Him. We're just waiting for Pedram's grandfather. Even though he had a riding lesson, it seems Pedram never mastered the art of the dismount. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Would you kindly take your seats, please? Everything is in slow motion. Once everyone's inside, it's time for Rena's grand entrance. Mind ahead, mind ahead. So there's three and then left, or is it one, two, and then left? Tell you what we'll do, it's on. Are we all listening? Two, six, lift. There's no confusion. Two, six, lift. Start sprinkling petals. That's it. Good girls, good girls. Now that the Hindu ceremony has started, Jane turns her attention to kids. Why do they run everywhere? And caterers. Oh, I can hear the plates. Have we got another dish? They're going to float candles in a teaspoon of water. Where, oh where, could Jane possibly get more water? Pedram was a mess, absolute mess. And there are two more ceremonies to go. Surely, Pedram will stop crying at some point. Would you marry a man that's crying into tissues? Are you coming in for the second ceremony? Because they're just waiting to start. Sure. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Two ceremonies down and one to go. But Rena and Pedram still haven't asked Jane for their third wish. We still haven't done third wish. Rena and Pedram don't have time to think of a wish. The last ceremony is set to start. We we're just about to do the third ceremony, and they were so concerned with timings about running over, they're now running early. When the third ceremony is over, Rena and Pedram seal the deal and finally ask for their third wish. We have a third wish. We want you to decorate our room at night. 
so that the fireworks can go off. Decorating Rena and Pedram's honeymoon suite is a big responsibility. In the Indian culture, we don't um, have premarital sex. So, you know, that's the first night you're ever spending with your husband, and it's a really special time. And I always dreamt, you know, there'd be uh, fresh rose petals and candles, and it was just set up like a dream. By the time the reception rolls around, everyone's having a great time. But there's one guest who looks a little out of place. Sorry, Jane. Jane was a huge help. She, I mean, we didn't even know the ways we needed her. So she just was there right when we needed her every time. Two teenagers, six years together, culminating in the most perfect wedding. Well, not one wedding, three weddings. And it all went to time, which is what they were concerned about. It ran perfectly. And in the end, Rena was able to leave her parents behind and move forward with Pedram. I'm so proud of her. There's more effort for me. Not gonna trot, are you? Come on, baby. You ready? Come on, it's a bit warm there. Ready? I haven't got the apple. 